Hi, this is Mesa, and this is a commentary battle for Napoleon Total War. So, I command Danes and my opponent, opponent Henri, is commanding the Russians. Look at those awesome line infantry units. Anyway, I have... Let's see here. Those are my skirmishers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, actually. Units of line infantry. Then I have, I think, I have 5 skirmishers. I move them. Yeah, something like that. 5. We'll find out later, anyway. Then I have one unit of 7 pounder howitzer. And. Yeah. 3 units of dragoons. And here is my general stuff. I think I had a unit of of elite unit line in tree. Can't remember. Obviously not. No. Anyway. Let's fast forward a bit and look at my opponents. There we go. So, my opponent, Henri, has a lot of foot, Russian Jaegers, Russian Jaegers, Cossack Cav, three units of the 12 pounder howitzer, one more Russian Jaeger, let's see, four units of musketeers, he has Dragoons, Cuirassiers, Dragoons, and Cossackav, and one more unit of Russian Jaegers. And here is this general. Which can't one Bennings? Can't pronounce that. I'm not Russian. So, my tactic here was to try to halt it adva his advance right here with some skirmishers and bring up my line infantry and try to unflanking, unflank him here. And I will do that, but I'm gonna play it kinda defensively. And yes, I'm also gonna move my uh, 12, pa uh, 12 pounder, no, this not 12 pounder, has fallen to the enemy. 7 pounder howitzer up here and blast the Russians. And my opponent, on the other hand, is going to rush up his troops and capture these buildings, which would have been a good idea if not for my artillery, which you're gonna find out about later. So. I put all of my skirmishers, I think. No, one unit somewhere else. Up here to defend. Yeah, it's capturing this building as well. In the meantime, my plan is to capture this building and try to hold it, because that is a hard target to hit for his artillery. This building has fallen to the enemy! Yeah, and about artillery. It was very unwise of him to bring so such so much artillery on this map and not to mention that it's foot artillery and not howitzers which makes it pretty bad idea for this map I don't think he realized that it was actually this map so so now his land infantry and my skirmishers are engaging in a house to house combat and that's gonna take some time Yeah. In the meantime, I saw that my opponent's left flank, my right flank, was just protected by cavalry. I was trying to take them out, but by the time I get my troops over here, those those cavalry units have moved, so... Well, you'll see that. I'm also moving my line infantry up here, to try to get some flanking positions right here. And my Russian opponent's gonna meet me. But then again, you have to wait for that. So, my artillery pieces are in place, and I'm going to blast the building with the line infantry in, now the Russian Jaegers. So my line infantry is moving up, plus one guy. Poor dude, there he is. R.A.P. 
Well, isn't going to be alone this day. Trust me. So, as you can see, my opponent uh, moves his cavalry. And as for my cavalry, I haven't done anything with it yet. One unit right here, and the other units right here, protecting my houses. I think we can fast forward a bit. There's really not much happening at, except for artillery fire. Yes, he moves some of these guys out of the building to not get crushed. Which was a pretty smart idea. And his Russian Jaegers are dying. They are getting absolutely demolished. Yeah, and as I moved up here, my Russian opponent saw that and moved his troops as well over here. So, 17th Jaeger regiment is firing against my dudes. And so, so are his musketeers, and I think lifeguard foot, yeah. Lifeguard foot. So, I'm losing quite badly here, but I put, put my units in the queue, and when they are out, I send up the next unit. So, and we will see how that goes. Very cool units, the 17th Jaeger Regiment. And the com combatants are even, actually. Yeah, and shouldn't, I shouldn't be losing slightly, I should be losing quite decisively. But here I go for a charge on the Jaeger Regiment, seeing that they are just Jaegers, but they're out just immediately. Yeah, I kinda expected that. So I run up my next regiment and tell them to attack the 17 Jaeger troops. Yeah, I go right for charge, that's right. And I move the next units up. Because I was realizing that if I put my line right here, they would just fall the same way as my last regiment, which is running right there. So in the meanwhile, my skirmishers are getting fired upon by, I think, three regiments, and that is not good for their morale. And yeah, this uh, this farm is, is now getting pounded my, by my artillery. And what about his own artillery? Well, they are firing, but I don't think they have too much of an effect. Where's the third? Oh, there it is. Our men are running, sir. And my men are running. Yes, those are the charging ones. But they routed the 17th Jaeger Regiment, and I don't think my opponent realized what he did here, because then he would have been charging them. But for some unit, they just walked straight into my line, and someone is texting me. Let's just ignore that. So, yeah, I'm engaging in a melee fight right here, and I'm winning. Yeah, those units were quite depleted before they before they even reached my lines. And yeah, over here my structures just are are retreating. Well, that's too bad. But well, you win some, you lose some. So I'm soon going to have my line infantry walk over here and try to reinforce. But for the for time being, they seem to be doing a quite a good job by themselves. And here he ran for his general to provide some more support. And that was a good idea by him. Yeah, and at this point. Killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Well, as I said, it was a good idea, but then he got hit by an artillery piece. And my opponent said something like bad luck right here. And it, well, he was very right in that statement. Oh, quite blinding. Yeah, as I was saying, or trying to say at least, I after I moved my infantry back from right here, and I'm now going uh, after his artillery pieces, or at least getting a flanking position on his other troops. 
in which one of them are routing his musketeers, and his other set of musketeers are, well, not be not placed in the best of ways. And here's the house which uh, has been destroyed, and I think no one was actually in there at that time. And yeah, brought up. No, this is not those. Those are actually my routed units which are coming back. But my line three infantry are losing against his elite units, which, which I'm fine. I'm fine too because that's just the way of things. But he's one of his regiments at least. His cost cam charged my skirmishers and just shattered them instantly. But there comes my cab, and in the cab fight, the one that charges the best usually wins. Unless they are heavily upgraded or something. And here he takes his other units of of cavalry and charge me. Those are Graziers. Actually quite a heavy type of cavalry. And will be able to route my guys pretty easily once they actually get to me. Not to mention that those guys have already been routed once, which make them very likely to route again. Yeah, and it seems like I didn't actually see this right here, but I saw it, but when I saw it, it was too late to place those guys into square, even now, because this cavalry is just engaging the flank. So I couldn't really do much about it, except to bring up the reinforcements. But other than that, my army is in quite a good state. I'm not sure if he's done it yet, but at least his cavalry, yeah. Some dead cavalry right here. Yeah, he charged those guys, and I placed my guys in square, so that attack was fairly unsuccessful. And here I just do it again. But then again, this grass here wasn't actually charging, so might have been able to take out at least one of those units if they had been charging. But then again, I had my general unit there, so. They might have not. So he still has his lifeguard foot and his Russian Jaegers and some foot artillery. And oh, no, it's actually happened now. So I put my guys in square, as you can see. And yes, same thing as uh, on my left flank. He charged the square and now he's stuck. So, well, too bad for him. Quite good for me. And here, I think his foot artillery had the canister mode, or maybe the regular shot. Anyway, he blasts his own guys, and that caused them to rout. So, poor placement. So, on this flank, I charged my cavalry into this uh, lifeguard foot, and, but I managed to get into the square. So, I tried to move my uh, dragoons back. But I see his cavalry units are actually going for my skirmish line, so I tried to charge them instead. But he managed to route at least two units of sharpshooters, maybe all three of them. To see right there. And that was brutal. You saw that? Anyway, every unit here, which can be in the square, are in the square. So. These horsemen aren't going to do that much except to route my skirmishers and my horsemen because of that wonderful uh, artillery shot, which was a very nice one actually. Yeah, and I took my dragoons and charged his positions, his cannons. I went round here. I didn't remem rem remember to share it with you. And after those have been routed, I charged uh, his Russian Yankers and his Lakor foot. Or at least try to. So his Russian Jaegers are wavering and broken. As for his lifeguard foot, it's the only it's the not the only unit it has. He has a house as you see right here. But now they are routed and he only has one unit left. And he is going to retreat. Or not retreat but to admit defeat. 
So good game to my opponents. Yeah, so see, uh, he has quite a quite an interesting name, but I'll just call him Henri. So I deployed quite a few more troops than him, but I think he wasted a lot of money on his artillery, and it w really wasn't a good idea for this map. But oh well, his choice. So I lost 750 of my 2,228 guys, and my enemy killed. Uh, or I killed 953 of my enemy and he deployed 796 units and lost 1140 of them and killed 666 of my guys wow must be the devil then so anyway good game for my opponents and I'll see you guys next time bye